Welcome back to the Block and Nickel Money Party. I am your moderator, Donnell. That's right, we're gonna groove a little bit. I hope you're ready. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to the Block and Nickel Money Party. I got two concepts that have been on my mind this whole week. Well, it's it's really one concept, and that is about starting a business. You see, we all hear people from time to time say, man, I want to own my own business. That's what I want to do. I want to own my business. I got a ton of friends I talk to that have great jobs. They're doing well. Um, financially, there's no need for money, but they always say, man, this is great. This is cool and all, but I, I want to work for myself. So I want to talk about or walk you through better yet. I want to walk you through some of the things that I, that I encounter. Some of the thoughts that pass through my mind a lot of times when I say, I want to own my own business. So I have a, a, a a multitude of friends, a, a plethora of friends who are self-employed. Some up, some of them are prosperous and happy. Some of them are prosperous and unhappy. But they all have, you know, blazed that that trail. And you know, a lot of times I, I talk to them, and I I got some good, really, 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 really good friends that are very open and forthright with me forthcoming with me when it comes to information about owning your own business. Now, me, myself, I have started tons of things, businesses, and uh, some of them have been successful. Some of them have been terrible, <laughs> but I learned a lot from all of them. And these skill sets that I own today, that I possess today, are the reason, the reason I have these skill sets are because of my, my experiences of uh, being an entrepreneur. I still consider myself an entrepreneur, but now I'm a little older and I, I handle things a lot more different. I want to get into direction. Do not allow yourself to get taken off of track or swayed by another man's or woman's success. I mean, your closest friends and your true friends, they're going to always recommend great things, things that are working for them. They want it to work for you as well. They love you. So they, they're they going to always, it's, it's, it's from a warm and loving place when they say, hey, bro, hey, sis, you should um think about jumping into this industry because I'm doing amazing. I'm hitting numbers. It's, it's lovely. Everything's working. It's beautiful. That's great for them, but that might not work for you because you might get into that same industry and you won't thrive because it, you, it's not you. It's not your makeup. You don't have the skill sets that they have. Throughout our professional development, we all obtain certain skill sets that work for us. So be careful when when thinking about businesses and stuff like that. So that's something that I think about a lot because I get a lot of recommendations and things like that. And people say, well, man, you're good at this and you're good at that. Woo, woo, woo. So this might work great for you because it's working great for me. And I have to always sit back and tell, tell myself that, man, that's, a great, that's an amazing idea that my friend is doing, but that might, that's not for me. I went to a conference. And this conference was full of entrepreneurs. It had a couple aspiring to be entrepreneurs, but the top group of the speakers were all successful guys from, from all walks of life. And one thing that I noticed about all of them, because, yeah, I did. I went back. I mean, they tell you about themselves. They tell you to go look them up and stuff like that. So I looked them up. And one thing I noticed is that there is a straight for all of the all of the these are all of the um, the speakers. The keynote speakers for that for that 
conference, they all had one thing in common. They did not deviate. If you look at their history, you look at the things they did, it all was in the same industry, which tells me one thing. They were really good at saying no. Not saying no to be a, a jerk, but saying no to distractions. They developed a skill in that industry, and it, favored, and it turned out well for them. So we have to look at ourselves from that perspective and say, what am I good at? What, I, what do I do on a regular basis? What do I do professionally? Does that work for me? How can I take what I do professionally on a regular basis and merge it with what I love to do and make the best out of it? When you find that intersection between what you do professionally and then what you love to do for a hobby, then you will get a, a clearer idea of what kind of businesses you should be eyeing if you want to own a business. So that's, 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 that's very important. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about is when, when to start. You don't want to wait till retirement to start a business. Now, if you have an idea of something that you want to be doing, something you want to do when you retire or when you start working, you should start building that foundation right now. No if and buts about it. You should really start building that foundation right now. So if you are, if you want to own a restaurant or whatever, it's, this is a very good time to start catering. Cater a couple things every now and then. That way you can, uh, you know, build up your, build your rapport up. Get your, get your skill set together. Um, find out what your clients want and what they don't want. And then you can start developing menus and things like that. And from over time, you'll learn how to uh, make money off food and, that's a good time to actually go into business. So by working your regular day, W-2 job, you can, you can buy yourself time while you learn this business and you pick up some clients and build your brand and everything else so that once, once it's time to start that restaurant, it won't be a cold start. It'll be a warm start. It may even be hot. <laughs> so... Don't wait till the last don't wait till the last minute or until you retire to start a business. Now, me personally, when I was in my younger 20s, one thing that I knew was that I was not starting a business to last a long time. These were more so things I would get into for flips and things like that, but it was it I never planned on any of these businesses. Uh being a, a long run thing or whatever like that. So I was very industrial, industrious on that end. Um, I would start a business because simply I wanted to make my own job. But I found out that that's not for me because I'm not the person that I don't want to be. I don't want to work for my, I don't want to create my own job. That's not for me. Now, for some people, that might be ideal. But that's not for me because I want to be able to go on vacations and do this and do that. And yeah, I, I've been down that lane. I thought that's what I wanted one time. I tried it and it wasn't for me. But now I'm able to show that and convey that to everyone else is that, you know, be careful. Make sure that you're not. Make sure you're, you if you want to build a business, build a business. If you want to create a job for yourself, create a job for yourself. But don't don't confuse the two. Do not confuse the two, because when you start a business or when you run a business or when you own a business business, better yet, if you own a business, you should be able to walk away from that business for months and you still can make income. You should be able to walk away from that business for months and you still generate an income. Jobs don't do that. 
And I understand that there are levels in life. Know where you're at and know what you are doing. So if you created a job for yourself, kudos to you. Kudos to you. You don't have a boss. You are, you are your own boss. But please understand that that does not make you a business owner. They're not the same thing. They are in the same family, but they are not the same thing. And I just wanted to, to, to dwell into that. I didn't want to delve too deep into that, but I wanted to point that out that a business and creating a job are not the same thing. So, for instance, uh, what would be a, a job? So let's use car washes for the point. Let's use car washes. If you have to go and wash cars, if you are the owner, the creator, the founder of this car wash, and you have to go and wash those cars, because if the car, if you don't wash the cars, you don't make money, you have just created a job for yourself. If you own a store, if you open up a store and you have to sit in that store to make money, you just created a job for yourself. Now, if you own a car wash and it is g generating revenue without you setting foot in that building, you own a business. If you created a store and that store is generating revenue without you having to set foot in that store, that's a business. I just wanted to point those two out and it, it could get a lot more deeper. And I'm not saying one is bad or one is better than the other, but just know what you have a stomach for and act accordingly. Thank you. It's not rocket science. It's just more about being alert. And that's what we do here at the Block and Nickel Money Party. We talk about that. So if you like this conversation and you like this dialogue that I got into today, hit me up. Come to the Block and Nickel page on Facebook. Tell me that you liked it. Follow me and let me know, hey, I like these type of topics because these are the type of things that we're going to start getting into. Once again, I am Donnell, your moderator for the Block and Nickel Money Party. Thank you. And remember, it's up.